happy Wednesday. I hope you're doing well. I uh, have my microphone on, so hopefully you can hear me uh, well. I wanted to do a little review for you guys and an unboxing. So if you uh, have already read the title in the video, you'll know what I'm reviewing. But um, today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Circle water bottle. Um, if you have not seen it already, I recently did a video reviewing um, the Air Up water bottle. So if you go to somewhere in the right hand uh, corner of your screen at the top, hopefully, there should be a little uh, white rectangle that pops out and you can click on that to go and view my Air Up review. Um, but other than the Air Up water bottle, the Snorkel water bottle seems to, ultimately, they seem to be the two most popular water bottles right now that are out. And I'm going to also do a video separately from this one comparing the two. But right now we're just going to focus on the Circle water bottle. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the cover of the box. You can see you have the water bottle as well as two flavors are in the box already. Um, and when you open it up, well actually first of all, on the side it shows you essentially instructions. So you fill up the water bottle, where are you? So you fill up the water bottle, you add the your pod or whatever into the lid, and then there's apparently a dial that you set and then you're able to drink it. Um, according to the box, one of these um, pods is good for six refills of the, oh hang on, for six refills of the water bottle. When you open it, there's some infographics um, on how it's better for the environment and it talks about uh, the be a better design and how it's better for us. Uh, so then you look and you have your water bottle in the, let me see, you have the water bottle and then you have the two flavor p cartridges that are in here. So featured in this box, we have the Life Sip Fruit and Fruit Punch flavor, and we have the Active Fit Sip in Mixed Berry. And if you notice each of the boxes, this one says Hydrate and that one says Active. Um, now, interestingly, we'll get into the differences between the uh, flavors, but this is what's in the box. Okay, now that we've talked about kind of what's in the box, I'm going to, as I'm talking to you, go ahead and take the products out that are in the box. So we have the 22 ounce bottle with the lid. Um, we also have the active berry cartridge and the fruit punch uh, cartridge. What I am going to do is I am going to go and fill up this water bottle and from there we will try it out. Before that, I am going to tell you that according to this box, once you take out the products, it does have, I don't know if you can see, words there in the back and it says, um, what are you waiting for? Oh, isn't that funny? And it says, we have 35 plus delicious flavors to try. And then at the bottom, it gives their website. 
which I will link to their website in the description below this video. Um, I would also like to preface this video as well saying that I am not affiliated with this brand. I'm simply buying it as a regular consumer to review it and tell you what my thoughts are on it. In addition to that, before I go fill up the water bottle, I also bought the Life Sip Strawberry Kiwi flavor. I got the Fit Sip White Cherry. I purchased the Fit Sip Orange Tangerine flavor. And I also got the Go Sip Black Cherry flavor. So I will be trying these out as well as testing out something else that is very exciting if it actually works. So give me two minutes and I will be right back. Okay, so I am now back from filling up the circle water bottle. I am going to place the lid on the bottle now and we're gonna briefly talk about um, the differences really quickly between each of the um, flavor pods. I'm gonna call them flavor pods, but I think they're cartridges or something. Um, but the, let's see, let me make sure I understand this. So the Go Sip is uh, labeled with the term energy right there. And it's supposed to help give you energy as you move throughout your day. Um, and it's, like I said before, in black cherry is the flavor. Um, the next one that we have is the Life Sip ones, which I have two flavors of the Life Sip. And if you look on there, they say hydrate in the, this banner piece. And they um, are in flavors strawberry, kiwi, and fruit punch are the two that I have. And they are supposed to provide you with uh, B vitamins and I think a few other things in these. And then I have the Fit Sips in three flavors. One is mixed berry, one is orange tangerine, and one is the uh, white cherry. And they say active on their little banners. And these are actually, um, they give you electrolytes throughout the day as you drink these. Which I will say one, like in my opinion, I think they should have switched the term on maybe the I think they should have switched the terminology on the life sip to something else and put hydrate on the fit sips because if I saw hydrate initially and didn't know anything about it I would assume that that meant electrolytes so and not B vitamins so that is one thing so far that I will say I'm a little not sure of <laughs> but um according to the four step instructions here you fill up the water bottle and then you fasten a, a flavor pod into the water bottle and you adjust a dial and then you drink it so i am going to do that now i'm going to on camera try out the mixed berry um, fit sip which is the electrolytes and so if I oh that's interesting okay so there is a liquid in here um, I was not expecting that but there is a liquid in here and so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't figure out how to do this so it looks like you how do you do this i guess you just press it in here you put it in and twist it on okay now 
there's a dial and I'm not sure how you know what setting you have it on. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. It's a little confusing. So let me get my glasses really quickly so I can properly see this. Okay, now that I have my glasses on, um, I did tinker with it a little bit and it's obvious to me that it is a little, it takes it a little, little playing with to finally get the dial to start moving. So to start, or let me just show you if I can try and show you. So, um, here's what it looks like in there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's an X and then in this space is where you will see, um, what your dial strength is. So I'm just going to put it on a one first and just start as low as possible. And then what happens is once you've put it on your adjustment, you flip this piece up and I guess you be begin drinking from here. Before I do that, I am going to look in, um, hmm. Okay. Okay. So I'm reading the ingredients and I'm not going to read the whole thing just cause that would make this video a lot longer than it needs to be. Um, but there are some ingredients that I'm a little uncertain of, but let's see what this, uh, tastes like on level one. Okay. And this is a live reaction, by the way, so it's not, you're, you're getting a, a genuine thing. I've bumped it up to a two. Um, I'm caught off guard a little bit, but let's see what a two is. It's kind of a, I keep moving it up because it's kind of a weaker, the, obviously the lower the number, the weaker the flavor is going to be. So I have it on a three now. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> the flavor is nice. I like the mixed berry flavor. You can really tell that it's strawberry and, and blueberry. So from that standpoint, I'm very impressed. It kind of tastes like a candy. So that's kind of, you know, intriguing because who wouldn't want to have candy, right? So I have no idea how I'm going to switch them out. But that one, I'm going to leave the triple berry on a, th and the mixed berry on a three. So now let's try, I'm going to try cutting the other ones. Now I'm going to try the orange tangerine fit sip. Okay, so here's the cartridge. All of them are... I think they're all going to be a liquid, interestingly. Now let's try this one. I'm going to also put it on a three. Since three seemed to be my preference with the other one. Oh. It tastes like a, um, like an orange soda or like a, um, the orange Izzy's just without the, um, sparkling of it. <laughs> this one's, I'm shocked. This one's really good. Um, now I'm going to pick white cherry. 
gonna try out light cherry. Let's see this one. And white cherry is also another um, fit sip electrolyte one. Okay, let's put you on a three. cherry flavored kool-aid growing up that's what this tastes like i'm putting it on a four to see if it's any different um, okay so for white cherry i'd pr i prefer it on a level five but it's really good I'm kind of baffled at the moment, actually. Oh gosh, okay. Now I'm going to try the Black Cherry Ghost Zip, which is an energy one. And then after this one, we have two left to taste. Okay, so here's the Black Cherry Ghost Sip on a level three. It tastes similar to the White Cherry, just a little bit stronger. So this one's really good on a level three. And then let's try the two B vitamin uh, infused flavors. Okay, so now we've got the um, strawberry kiwi. Oh, this one's okay. So this one's already a little sticky. I'm not sure if I should be concerned or not, because that is a little gross to feel. I'm also going to put this one on a three. This is, this one is sticky, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Clearly, I don't like that very much, but anyway. See it on a four. Okay, so strawberry kiwi, I definitely prefer it at a, a three or a four. One in the two. I'm having a hard time getting past the fact that it's sticky at the moment, so I apologize. But it tastes really nice. I'm noticing it. <laughs> They all kind of taste like candy, which is interesting. But there's that one, and then here is our fruit punch. So far, I haven't disliked any of the flavors, which surprises me, because I really did think I was going to dislike some of them. Okay, so the this one, the Live Sip um, fruit punch, is not um, sticky. So that's nice. And we've got it on. I'm going to put it on a three. And let's give it a shot. So it's good. I, I can tell the fruit punch I definitely need to keep at a three. 
if you're in, into fruit punch flavored, this is a good one. And again, it is one of the um, B vitamin infused ones. I'm going to put the mixed berry electrolyte um, pod into the lid. And we're going to try one more thing. If you go to Circle's website, um, I believe somewhere in there on the FAQ page, maybe, there's a, a little t uh, fun fact or whatever you want to call it about the lids saying that you don't have to use this exclusively with the Circle water bottle and that it should fit any wide mouth water bottle like a Hydro Flask bottle, which I happen to have. So, for anyone interested, this is their 32 ounce Hydro Flask um, wide mouth water bottle. I also have a wide mouth 20 ounce white Hydro Flask bottle, which I put my logo on. Um, but we're going to put this in here and see if it works. I'm going to put this there so I don't knock it over. Um, so it is screwing on just fine. Um, very cool. So it fit right on my Hydro Flask bottle. I can hold it no problem. And we can just pop this off again like we did on the other one. And you can still use it. That's crazy to me. Um, I would definitely recommend giving this a, a shot and trying it if it even piques your interest. Again, I will drop the Circle website down in the description below, and in the description below you can also find a link with all of my social medias and my business and blog links down in the, and as well as any affiliate links that I have. Um, just as a reminder, it does say on this box that one of these can be used six times with um, 20 ounces. So after about 120 ounces have gone through a pod, it should be done. I am certain probably that also depending on what strength level you put on the pod, that may or may not also affect how quickly the flavor goes away. I am going to continue using this and then I am planning to make a video in coming weeks comparing the Circle water bottle system with the Air Up water bottle and give you my honest feedback on which one I think is either best or, you know, whatever. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again really soon. Bye, guys. Okay, so we are in my bathroom now. As I am going to put this at the end of the video, but as I am having to learn the hard way, if you are doing what I was trying to do while you're rotating the pods out after using them, you're going to want to probably lay them somewhere out to like dry because they seem to hold on to some of the water still that might be left in the pod. So what I'm doing is I have them laid out on like a washcloth type thing to dry. And then I may end up just putting them in a Ziploc bag and not back in the boxes, but we um, will see. I just wanted to make note of that also.